We'll go back to the pristine screws, which is that way if we could get up the building, which I have some doubts about. <laughs> Probably go up here. Where is the freaking speed star? <clears throat> oh well. Oh, there was a way up here. Stupid. <laughs> oh, does I go in? Nope. That's just a random little thing. Here would be our third screw. Ignore the little guys. Hopefully no drilly guys come out. Oh, really? Oh, whoa, that's not good. Well, this guy's like 360 degrees turning on me. We can handle it. It spent too much time doing the bubbles. Ooh! Now it's dead. Yeah, so the problem earlier really was with the drilly guys. Because the Goliath by itself is not that strong. <laughs> it went back for a second. Third screw? Wanna... wanna be my... Oh, I wanna practice counter on you. Okay, the fourth screw is over... It's just over here. That's pretty exciting, because we can find out more information about the Goliath if we can get the screw. I don't know where we got the large gear. Hmm. Whatever. Here we go. Keep going. Oh, oh, gotta be careful here. I'm right in front of it, that's not a good tactic. Oh, come on, we can do this. Here we go. Give me your screw. 21. Okay. That should be everything we need to repair the machine. Sounds good to me. So after using the axe for a while, um, it mostly feels the same. Like the combat is not all too different. Or maybe I'm not paying enough attention to the, um, the combos and stuff. Because again, I'm mainly just... <laughs> I'm mashing the buttons a lot. I'm not paying all too much attention to what's really going on here. Whoa! Sorry, Tubi. I <laughs> forgot about the pod. <laughs> Such a random amount of time. Let's see what we've got. Whoa, we fixed its mouth. My name is Angels. Serial number. 110B. Whoa! I was manufactured in February of the human calendar year. 11,000... Holy crap! 11934. That's... Damn! So the aliens have been like... Conquering Earth for a long time already. Like 5,000 full years. My first deployment was in August of that same year. Requesting confirmation of current status. The thing's getting chattier. Requesting confirmation of current status. Um, well, you were defeated by us androids. That's why you can't move. At this point, you should probably just hand over any classified information in your possession. Understood. Really? That easy? That was surprisingly easy. My mission has already been accomplished. My commander is absent. I have no orders to withhold classified information. But as a combat weapon, I do not possess a great deal of data. You should not expect much. 
We'll keep that in mind. I'm not looking up your skirt, Tubi. You don't have to get so defensive. I am tired. I must rest. Alright. Well, let's check it out. It said its mission had been accomplished. What was it trying to do? Angel's Fortress Destroyer Transformable combina Combination Infantry. Made on... Yeah, Valentine's Day. Okay. So can I assume that that's the current year? 11,943 CE? Holy crap, it's killed a lot of people. Lots of repairs needed. Hmm. Well, that was more interesting than the manufacturer information. Yeah. We got a solid confirmation of the date for the first time here. Mm -hmm. How long have we been in operation? Because, like, okay. I remember from the demo that the year was around this year that we just see. Whoa, what is that? Is that a goat? Thank you for saving me. That's not quite what's happening here. Please visit me again. Why? Because I have nothing to do. Oh, are you trying to say you're bored? <laughs> Nonsense! Machines can't be like that. But what was that? I saw a goat just now. What a strange machine. Wait, where was the goat? It wasn't a moose. It wasn't. I know it wasn't. It was white. Where'd it go? All oh, that stupid... Angels was like freaking. Mm. Maybe my eyes were playing tricks on me, but I'm pretty sure that was a freaking goat. It's gone now. The heck? Yeah, I completely lost my train of thought because that goat thing surprised me so much. I guess we just we just move on from the situation now. That was weird. Well, yeah, that was the first solid confirmation that we got of the current year. Or what I assume to be current year. But I feel like it's tried to mislead me a little bit on purpose. Because I do remember that year from the demo. But then in the beginning, when we first got to the bunker, it mentioned that it was um, around 5,000 when the aliens first started invading. But then they never said the current year is 11,000. Which would naturally make you think that the current year is 5,000, right? 5,000-ish, but no, it's not. This situation has been going on for, like, 5,000 years. I'm so angry. What was that goat thing? Anyway, that is it for machine examination. We can't examine you any longer because you are no longer a value. <laughs> is that it then? We should go back to the camp. We should. Because we haven't been back for a while. There was something here. Photographs. And I think we can upgrade some of the weapons we have now. So that would be pretty good if we could get some of that going. Alert. Mail received from command. Alright. Desert photo. Oh, this photo. I can still feel the intense heat beating down on me. Was I... with someone? This is from the amusement park. I remember having fun there. Together. Together? Oh, she's forgotten somebody. We need to find that last photo for her sake. Alright, Command. What you got for me? Search order annulment. Recently, a search order was issued for a Yorha member who was in possession of secret information chips. As this individual has now- has since been found, the order is now withdrawn. Oh... 
As a further note, the member in question had been killed by a machine life form. However, our search team still managed to, re to recover the information chips. They also located the corpse of another resistance member nearby. We are currently investigating if the two issues are connected. This is talking about that guy at the desert complex, right? Oh no. We didn't report it, but I wonder if... Like, just the fact that we saw it, because we're connected to the network, right? The machines have their network, the androids have their own network, I assume. And... Just because we saw it... Yeah, it's that quest. That means that the information has been passed to command. Hang on though, the wording there. The member was killed by a machine life form. And there was also another resistance member nearby. Okay, the resistance member is the guy we talked to. The member is the android. So they were both killed by a machine life form? Some other machine life form? Hard to tell. Hmm. Okay, you can upgrade my weapon. I know it. We can... Oh, we don't have that titanium alloy. We can upgrade the iron pipe quite easily. And again. But not again. Moldavite. Oh, why is the, the money? No money required? Yeah, the money is starting to roll in now, so I'm not too... not too worried about that. Fang of the Twins? We can do this one quite easily, I think. Virtuous Treaty? I haven't been using it lately. Virtuous Dignity. Well, this does give me a nice... Yeah, let's go. Hmm. I guess we'll just upgrade whatever we have. Another again. Sweet. Okay, well, cool, cool. We're getting getting some upgrading done here. Which is nice, because we get to see some weapon stories. <laughs> which one? Oh, okay. This guy can only do level 3. Oh. Sweet. What did we upgrade? There was another place to see the weapon stories, right? Yeah, right here. Dad, if you're hungry, you can have my cookie. You're my favorite person in the world after all. Dad, if you're scared, I can sleep by your side. You're my closest friend in the world after all. Oh. oh. We had that? Didn't upgrade that one. The souls and the blade yearn to be as one, to grow old as one, to fall in love as one. It is why we both love the same person. I am myself. I am myself. Look at me. Look at me. Give me love. Give me love. Stop copying me. I'm not. The first three lines are the same, but not the last one. <laughs> Failed to connect with my lover. I'm not sure what this picture is of. Hmm. An animal? A wolf? And the moon? Hey ho, battlefield buddies! I'm not gonna lie here. The current war situation isn't looking too optimistic, but we're expecting reinforcements from our orbiting satellite bases any moment, so don't give up yet. Glory to mankind. Yep. We don't have any combat bracers yet, huh? Well, that's it for now. The iron pipe. How much did we upgrade it? Have we upgraded anything to the point that it's possible to use- Whoa! The max damage on this is quite high. But also, the, the minimum is quite low. Hmm. Let's try using the iron pipe and the fang. And then for the other set, 
We have the normal stuff, so we can always switch back. Huh? Oh, look at that dirty looking pipes. And that's it for now. Anything else in the camp anybody wants me to do? Yeah, you're not gonna give me any supplies for free though, so what's the point? <laughs> you! I haven't tried... I haven't tried like a fusing... fusing chips yet? I don't really... Should I try... fusing something that I'm using right now? I don't want to mess it up. Okay, so say I use this as a base chip, what happens? I can fuse it. Okay. The diamond means that this costs the least amount of space. If I add this one to it, it increases the power level of this thing. For this particular chip, it increases it by 4% or 2%. But the amount of space it takes is the same. Is that what's happening here? One way to find out. Okay. Oh! It does save space overall because the effects of the two are combined. But it does increase the cost of the space here. Okay. I don't know. I'm not quite sure what the optimal way to do this is. Hmm. Is there anything like low risk that we could try out here? Oh, if we could combine these two, does it matter which one is the base one? Oh, I got none with the same. Okay. Oh. Hey, what the heck? I should totally be using this one, not this one. Why am I using this shitty one? Oh my gosh. All right, well, we should have some free space because we combine one of the chips now. Oh, time to fiddle with this again. <laughs> but I also think we should be using the other deadly heal, if I'm understanding it right. Yeah, we should be using this one, what the hell. Not that crappy other one that we had. So now we have two spaces. You can check out what's equipped. They stack though, right? So it's not like it's a bad thing that I have both of them. Yeah, but I mean, this one was kind of shitty to begin with. Two spaces? Can I use a HUD thing? You know, I actually haven't been feeling like the damage value one. That one's not really that important. So we don't have to put it back on again. Yeah, well... Yeah, we'll just keep it at that for now. Okay. Two free spaces for no reason, whatever. All right. We've done a lot of side quests now. Is it time for us to go to the... What is it? Investigate the flooded area for alien readings? Well, no, you know what? There's still like stuff like this here, but I'm just not sure how to... Um, yeah, how to get there. I guess we can find out now, because there really isn't too much else here. I've... I've exhausted a lot of this. But I don't know where Speedstar went. Sort of disappeared. Hey, that's not done yet? Is it not? He now looks forward to future conversations. <laughs> okay. Okay. We can go visit Angels and then we'll go to the main quest. Hey there, friend. Hello, androids. I have nothing to do. Tell me a story. What? Uh, there isn't much we can tell you. Most of our data is classified. A story of the past would be fine. Tell me about how this city used to be. Well, I suppose we can try. This city was once home to a great number of humans. Numbers beyond counting? Something like that. Don't you remember driving them out of here? Humans were already gone at the time of my manufacture. Long gone. All I know is ruin and androids. Regardless, 
Don't expect us to forgive you for the sins of your people. Machine life forms do not comprehend the concept of sin. Let's go, Tubi. Sounds good. Gotta rest again. So this guy, we just periodically come back to it and talk to it and stuff. Alright, alright. Yeah, ironically enough, like I actually want to try doing some speed challenges right now, but... Where the hell is that guy? <laughs> he just disappeared off the face of Earth. It's still here, it's still here, but like, what? I swear to God, it was here, it was around this area before, it just... I don't know. He just went off somewhere else. These ones we can't access? Let's go down. Down, down. Some of the ones that... Like, there are still some quests that we can access, but I don't think we can do them now, just because we're so underleveled. So we will continue on. <laughs> God. Ooh, this looks like a way of no return. Oh, I thought there was a... <laughs> There's nothing here. Hello? Yes, Commander. We are finally investigating the... <laughs> the alien signals. Sorry about the wait. Okay, there's two different ways. Right off the bat. And we can't use the map here. Not reliably, anyway. A lot of dead people. I think they probably just fell down here and died. 52 gold! My god, this guy was rich. Another 52. Oh, lovely. Alright. Hey, machines! This hallway Whoa! looks pretty old. What the hell? Oh. Oh, that's interesting. They only follow me to a point. Ah, oh, I messed up the counter again. Level one. Weak, weak, weak. I have a light on, right? Now I do. Yeah, whenever we start doing main quests, Everything is so... weak. Whoa. Whoa! You're new? Oh. Are they... Were these guys originally down here? Or are they machines that were on the surface level? But they're like, hey, look, the, a cave-in happened. We should go exploring underground with torches. <laughs> I don't know which it is. Hey! Awesome. I need a lot of that for upgrading weapons. Yeah, there's some evidence of, like, mines or something down here. Some human construction. We're just gonna casually start fishing in here, apparently. Ooh, yeah, that's very... Look at all these dead machines. Seems like they've been here for a long time. Hey, the lights on the stairs still work. And the door still works. We were underground, but now we're going up again. Whoa! What is this place? I don't know. There's nothing like it in the database. Very high tech looking.
Uh... Are they... dead? To be. Huh? Look! Not anymore. Destroyed alien motherships. Welcome. <laughs> to the graveyard of our creators. What the fuck? Did they get haircuts? You. To be. Look out. My name is Adam. The aliens you seek are no longer here. They were wiped out centuries ago by us, the machines. Wiped out? And who knows? Perhaps we'll wipe out the androids next. Machines are weapons capable of evolution. We can grow, we can become aware. Eventually, the intelligence within our network began to surpass that of our creators. You'd probably be surprised at how quickly it happened. You destroyed your own creators? Oh, there's no need to fret about them. They were simple, infantile, almost like plants, I guess you'd say. They held no value to us, but the humans on the moon? Now they are interesting. Why them? Because they are an enigma. What is they this, Street killed Fighter? They uncountable numbers of their own kind, and yet loved in equal measure. It's fascinating, don't you think? What could possibly drive such behavior? We have dedicated ourselves to unraveling this riddle of humanity. And now we will allow you to assist us. You were made in their image, after all. Assist you with what? It's... We need you to locate the humans on the moon and bring them to us. We will then dissect and analyze them in order to drag their secrets forth into the light. Surely you see the attraction in this. Are you insane? We'd never do that! Can you believe this to be? This guy's bonkers! Well, I suppose this concludes negotiations. The only remaining option is to destroy you. The same way we destroyed these pathetic little aliens. Wow, I... Oh, okay. Time grows short. This year, this is the fate that befell our creators. As for your beloved humans, I guess we'll see, won't we? <laughs> Adam and Eve. They're gone. The aliens were already dead. Yeah. We better get back to the bunker. Adam and Eve. I weirdly enough, Eve is like the short-haired masculine one. Well, they're both masculine, but like well, I think it's normal to associate long hair with, you know, a girl. And Adam was the one with the long hair. Hey, there's more new information about this guy. What now? Wait, how do I just see the... Oh, occasionally. Machine life forms can be found carrying torches in dark places. As machines are thought to be capable of seeing in the dark, it's assumed they have some other reason for this behavior. They tend to use their own vital fluids as fuel for the torches. Though the meaning of this, if there is one, is also unknown. They're humans. They think they're humans, so they do human things. Um, I'm not sure how much of that conversation I really took in, because I was busy fighting Eve half the time, but something about... They... Like, these machines. Machines destroyed aliens. I thought machines were aliens! But no, okay, so... It seems like the relationship is more like... Humans to androids are what aliens are to machines. So the machines are being used by the aliens as well, is I'm guessing what's happening here. I always thought that machines and aliens were like the same thing, but no, doesn't seem like that's the case. And apparently Adam and Eve killed off the aliens, their masters. And... Something about humans on the moon? They want us to bring them to a human on the moon? I haven't even seen a human myself, okay? Can't help you there. Spherical machine? Tremendous energy to stay afloat, so offense is not a strong suit. It's plenty offensive to look at, all right. It offsets this by equipping weapons that are powerful enough to make up for its inherent lack of strength. 
It's like that little ball guy at Pascal's village, the one next to Jean Paul. Yup. So now we can read their names, Adam and Eve. When did they get... Where the hell did they get haircuts? And like, jeans and... <laughs> the other guy has a sleeve! <laughs> Where did he get a sleeve? What? Oh my god, this guy looks like a K-pop band member. Both of them do, really. And so they both have like, um, I don't know, the little glove thing with red-tipped fingers? They're kind of like counterparts to each other, I guess. Yeah, unusual level of evolution among machine life forms. Adam was again encountered inside the alien mothership. Strangely enough, he spent part of the fight lecturing his foes about how the aliens met their end at the hands of the machines. Deeply fascinated with mankind, he seeks to dissect the surviving humans on the moon. If machines overthrew their alien overlords, is that telling the androids to overthrow their human overlords? Eve has the ability to regenerate no matter how many times he is killed, and adores a unit known as Adam, who he thinks of as an older brother. Adam and Eve, born from a cocoon of machines. Both male. You would expect that it's a male and female based off the name, but no. Well, I don't even know if they have genders. It says he here. Okay, originally it said it. Look at the first paragraph. But later on, it's a he. Yeah, same thing here. Where the hell did they get jeans and boots and stuff? What the hell? <laughs> Where did they find a shop here? I want a shop there. Come on, my girl 2B needs to change the outfit too. Especially my boy 9S too, what the heck? Oh, oh, that whole fight just now, you know how it's always stuck in this perspective? It was so... It definitely felt like a reference to Street Fighter or something, because Eve's moves, they were all like, Sure you can! And like all that stuff too. Very Street Fighter-ish. Oh god, look at those aliens in the background here. So there's an alien mothership here. Hmm. But the aliens are all dead. Recently? Because Adam and Eve weren't born until like two days ago. So how long has this been going on for? This whole killing aliens thing. I don't know. But it seems like that's pretty much it for here. We couldn't defeat them before they ran away. Back this way again? What a pain. Stop complaining. Yeah, yeah. Man, when you got nothing, you gotta complain, okay? <laughs> I feel you, 9S. Let's complain together. 2B, this is Operator 60. We now have an operational transporter in the city ruins. We're attempting to deploy them at other points as well. About time we had access to those. Care to fill me in? Transporters? They let you transfer your consciousness to a temporary body back in the bunker. I heard some tech guys talking about it a while ago, but I didn't know they'd finally got it working. Anyway, I'll mark the positional data on the map. Oh, this might be the cutoff point for real this time. Hey, where did that come from? Was there always a ladder here? Oh, uh, hang on. I don't know if I want to talk to her just yet. What happened to my side quests? They're all still here for now. For now. Return to the bunker via an access point. Well, um, yeah, my side quest situation, I don't feel like really changed. Because I thought, I thought we would be able to access this and this if we went underground. But that was not the case. So I feel like if we haven't done a side quest so far, it's because we can't access it. Or we're too underleveled. Or it's Speed Star, which for some reason is just completely missing on the map. 
Is it because I like took away the marker or something accidentally? I don't... Well, whatever then, I guess. Jackass. Hey, how's it hanging? You again. Your commander told me to build a new access point, so... Here you go. Oh, and I got the stupid transporter up and running too. Um, thank you? I've known the commander for a while now. She sure is good at pawning work off on people. Next time you see her, give her some lip for me, will ya? So this has a transporter now, huh? Still, transporters are pretty handy. They're way faster than flight units when it comes to traveling between Earth and the bunker. Flight units also leave us open to attack, and they're expensive to operate, too. Hmm. So I guess this is our form of fast traveling. Yup. As always, very in-world. Putting our consciousness in a different body. Consciousness? You're a freaking robot. You're an android. You don't have a consciousness. <laughs> Teleport. Select transport at an access point to travel to other terminals. So we. This would have been really useful if we had the... <laughs> If we had this for the side quests. Oh my god. Well, better late than ever. Cool. Nope, nothing new. Alrighty. Quick save. And we will go back to the bunker. What's Jackass's official position? She can make drugs. She can make access points. Is she like a technician? That concludes our report on the events surrounding the alien wreckage. Then they were dead this whole time. The Council of Humanity needs time to formulate a plan. Until then, this information must be kept confidential. Speak of it to no one. Of course, your next mission is to gather additional intel on the individual known as Pascal. You mean that freaky machine we ran into? This order comes directly from the Council. Knowledge of such unique individuals is essential for the success of future missions. Understood. Ooh. We were all buddy-buddy with some of the machines, but now if we get some direct orders to not be buddy-buddy with them, it might be a little bit difficult for us. Is something wrong? No? Good. Then carry on with your mission. Okay, Commander! All right. Oop. Check our mail. Are you still all like assholey? Oh. Do you believe? I mean, do you even know who this war is for at this point? Um, never mind. I've said too much. Yeah, little hints here and there that we should be questioning what we're doing, a little bit. Hmm. Little hints here and there. Can we get up on that little platform there? I think so. Yeah, there's stairs. We just never bothered walking down them. Can we use a computer? Hey, 6-0! Oh, is that what- This is where all the operators are! You got that right, buddy. Having to sit in a chair all day is tougher than it looks. <laughs> it's very bad for your health, too. So get up once in a while. Hey, welcome back! So, um, can you show me the new data you brought? Oh, I thought you would have more than that. What happened to that girl that you confessed to? Machines trying to make peace? Never thought I'd see the day. It's an amazing thing to overcome different ideologies and interests and join hands in friendship. You better not let the commander hear you say that. Yes, no problem. This is the bunker. What's the status on that missing pod? Thank you. Still haven't located it? Understood. It should be giving off a distress signal. So continue searching until you find it. I see. She's talking to someone else, right? Where is 210 or a 210? That's nine S's, right? There we go. Yes? What do you need? I'm busy trying to analyze the alien signal, but I'm not really getting anywhere.
So the units that get sent to the ground, they have blindfolds. But the units that stay here, their mouths are covered. But they can see. Hmm. Man, the commander sure is a slave driver, huh? And now we have to go back to the city ruins. Why don't we rest a little bit, 2B? It's been a while. I'll rest if I feel like it. <laughs> okay, I feel like it, so let's rest. That's not your room, 2B. What are we gonna do? It still hasn't turned up. What hasn't turned up? What's that? You want to know what's happening? Apparently, one of the units on Earth lost the pod in the flooded city. Oh, that's what the other operator was talking about. They tried to follow the distress signal, but they still can't find the thing. How do you lose a pod? It staggers the imagination. Anyway, if you happen to find it, will you take care of it? The poor thing is all alone down there. And make sure not to lose it. <laughs> okay. Gotcha. Can I sleep in your bed? 9S, just because it's more convenient and close. Yeah, man, look at the dough rolling in now. I think we can do whatever with the money now. Sweet. Alright. Is resting actually necessary, though? I don't believe so. Um, I was told that if I do self-destruct here, it seems to be a little bit different than self-destructing on Earth. So let me try saving first, because that would not be good if something bad happened here. Man, this job can be pretty rough sometimes, huh? We don't get to choose our assignments, and you should work on keeping your opinions in check. Your ha aren't allowed to be emotional, remember? I think some of us are better at that than others. Speaking of emotion, those Adam and Eve units sure seemed less than logical. I'm heading to the transporter. Fine. <laughs> she doesn't want to talk at all. Well, try us out. <laughs> By self-destructing at the bunker, the entire structure ended up exploding in a spectacular fashion. But hey, it sure did look pretty from Earth. Somewhere in the depths of space, the commander still floats about with a stern look on her face. Oh! Debunked. Another one of these Easter eggs. All right. Good thing I just saved. Oh, and we're back at the menu screen. Well, um, you know what? I've actually been playing for the last... Yeah, I've been playing for quite a while now. Let's call it a day here, and when we get back, we will... We will go back to Earth and continue looking for, I don't know, the pod, Speedstar, the Wandering Couple, all of those. See you in a little bit.